Tips on understanding forms. Hello everybody, my name is Artectris, and today we're going to be learning about forms. This video is going to be quite short and to the point, so just pay attention and this will be done as fast as possible. Now, we must ask this question. What is form? Form, pretty much in literal layman's terms, is another way of saying 3D object. Uh, it's not technically shape, but it's about making something wet shape with 3D understanding. So think of like um, an arrangement of components like length, width, depth, shape, like a structure or a sculpture or even a 3D model or anything like that. Yes, I took some of that from Google, so I'm not really going off the dome on that one, but it pretty much hits the nail on the head. So that's pretty much what that is. So let's just get into the lesson and let's learn something today. Geometric forms. So geometric forms pretty much means that anything with a defined shape like a triangle square a circle and a cylinder can be a 3d object in that sense they have a, a label shape a label something you can recognize how far distance you can use something called cross hatching which i mentioned a few videos ago what that does and how it brings value by using this line here i'm using actual shape and i use color a little bit i would use black and white but i think using blue and dark blue is probably the best option for you guys to see it better so I'm using some form of uh, form by using light and shadow in the sense to give it more form, uh, to give it uh, a sense of 3D understanding. So I use soft edges and hard edges to give you that sense of depth when it's more soft surface type uh, shapes and more hard surface like shapes with platforms like a square and a triangle. So keep that in mind so you can understand your geometric shapes and understand that. So remember. Anything with a platform, in that sense, tends to be better in hard shapes like a square, a triangle, um, an octagon, or anything like that. Anything more smooth shape like a circle, which is a sphere or a ball, um, or like a, a cylinder, like a tin can, or anything like that, has more of a softer shape. Well, there are situations where the, these um, shapes can have uh, any type of form of a uh, hard shape only when there is a cast shadow that's upon them cast shadows are usually coming from an object that's um, that's play that's placing shadow on top of another uh, object when in front of them so if there's a ball behind let's just say a square box depending on how the distance is from each other the closer the ball is to the square from the light that's coming in will most likely be a hard shape edge on top of said ball right um but if the ball were pretty like much further away like a good distance away but the light is shining onto the box and it's still behind the box the shadow will be on the ball but yet the ball will be a lot more um not the ball the shadow will be a lot more uh, softer in that sense so the distance will make all the difference on how the edge will look so the farther the distance the softer the closer the the distance of the object the more hard edge uh, is defined so there you go undefined forms so undefined forms is under the situation where it's not a labeled shape like a triangle square a, a circle or anything like that it's more like if you use something like fabric is a perfect example of this like a ribbon like I'm doing right here I'm using uh, that light and blue situation again by using shadow and light. Always remember when it comes to shadow and light, if the light is on the left and the shadow, is on the, the shadow will be on the right. If the, t if the light's coming on the top, the shadow will be on the bottom. This is a little bit of a value color theory thing I'm giving you here, but right now as you pay attention, I'm putting transitions of gradients between the ribbon so you guys have a sense of form and depth in that sense. Now I'm going to use some hair. It's not perfect hair, but it looks like hair or another type of ribbon. So I'm giving it um, a form in itself. Like I said, I put the light at the bottom, the shadow comes on top. Everywhere that the light goes, the, the shadow follows in the opposite direction. This gives it more form. There is a situation where light can come into the shadow, but um, I'm just trying to keep it as simple as possible. That's more of a color theory thing with values and stuff. Uh, and I'll talk about that another time. But I think it makes more sense if we uh, look at it in a more behavioral way of using light and shadow. <clears throat> I would advise um, students uh, to do cross-hatching a little bit if that makes it easier for you. 
but if cross hatching is just too much work with all the lines and stuff, then you should use shape and form. Uh, I'm shape and form. You should use color, um, or at least use black and white and some grays to get that transitional period when you're doing um, shading. So first understand the behaviors of light and shadow and then when you have the understanding of where the shadows place the lights place then try to get in between them by using a bit of grays so it can transition more easily like a gradient like I said before to give it more depth in that sense um, there will be situations where let's just say back to the ball thing again if there's a ball which I actually talked about this in a previous video it will be up there in the corner over there it's an old video but it still kinda hits nail on the head if you pay attention um, the situation is where uh, if the ball is sitting on like a platform um, or a plane uh, no matter where the light is there is a form of darkness called the AO called um, ambient occlusion I have talked about this before in my live streams where that's the darkest darks where the light cannot reach and because of that it it makes it easier for something to look like there's on top of something so like if you're holding let's just say uh, a baseball uh, where your palms is at its most tightest um, around the grip of the hand it will be very dark there so it will show that there is a sense of uh, space that is being represented in the sense that you're holding a baseball I know it's hard to kind of visualize this as I'm explaining this uh, but it will be a lot easier if you practice this very thing so I suggest watch that video in the corner and it'll explain a little bit more better it's an old video and um, I don't think I explain as well as I do but I have a good understanding based on the video back then but I'm much more refined now in my understanding of values and stuff like that so uh, perspective does play a part in this uh, which we will get to soon because after this video we'll be focusing on gesture like the human not not the human body but just the understanding of movement and then we'll move on to the other types of uh, fundamentals and then when we finally get through all of them which is the ones I listed in my very first video um, we will uh, do a lot more fun uh, videos that focuses on a lot more fun stuff that you guys constantly ask me on stream and stuff like that so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this was at least helpful in some form. I know it was super short and all that great stuff and I'm sorry about how short it was. I didn't think there was a lot of information as you guys may think on the idea of form. It's just understanding the patterns and understanding the behaviors of light, shadow, and giving something 3D depth and stuff like that. So if this video wasn't as uh, good as you probably have thought, please let me know in the video in the comments below since there's no dislike and like oh but there's no dislike button in the sense to let me know how many well personally I will know but to show you guys so just go to the descriptions at the bottom please let me know what you think I would really enjoy for you guys to tell me it really would help me out because the more feedback I get the more I can um, the more I can uh, present a better video with quality and substance so with that said Thank you guys for being here. I do appreciate it and all that great stuff. Please uh, keep safe. Have a great weekend. Have a great time. Keep practicing out there. Please, if you guys like what I do, please support for the Patreon. It really would help me if you guys really, you know, would support there. Uh, check out my tiers if it benefits you in any way. And yes, don't worry. I'll be doing some anime uh, artwork soon for this. Uh, YouTube channel. I'll be talking about anime soon. It's just that I'm trying to get the fundamentals out of the way so when you guys ask me this question, I can always refer to them right to you. So, with that said, have a great night. Keep plus ultra. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm Artetris. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.